The national title is the fifth for both Duke and its Hall of Fame coach, Mike Krzyzewski. He joins us now from Indianapolis. Coach K, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. Really mm -hmm. happy here, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. There is much to talk about uh, in terms of this victory and the team that you say, one that you have loved as much as anyone. But just playing off of what we just said, uh, do you have players or do you do rent a player? Oh, Duke doesn't rent a player. <laughs> you know, uh, we have one of the great schools in the world. And uh, when we recruit a young man, we recruit a young man because of three things. One, he has uh, the academic potential to do well at Duke. Two, he has the talent to do well. And three, he has great character. And uh, all the guys on my team fit that uh, description 100%. You know, uh, in today's world, you have to adapt to what's happening. You know, throughout uh, college, there are many kids who don't go even the whole four years because of opportunities, business opportunities that are available. And they're not just athletes. Uh, and so if the opportunity arises, you know, for a youngster to leave early from school, whether he's an athlete or she's an athlete or not, uh, that's their, it's their opportunity to uh, pursue it. So uh, uh, I think, uh, we're living in the dark ages when we say that it should only be done one way. How would you change it? Well, I would allow really a youngster to go straight out of high school if he was good enough because they only have the earning potential of about a 15 year period uh, as a player and you can get a better contract. But if they did go to college, I would like to see them there for two years. So they would be uh, halfway towards a degree, probably more than halfway with summer school. But, you know, we have to adapt to what the NBA is doing in the NBA Players Association. You know, it's not our responsibility, and I wish it was, uh, to determine that rule. And, uh, uh, and we've done well. All these kids, Charlie, my guys are great. You know, they, they go to school. You know, they love Duke. They live with the other students. And uh, the Renna thing is kind of harsh. Mm -hmm. Well, Coach K, I have to tell you, I love Duke, too. Uh, this is Gail speaking. My son went to Duke. I'm wearing Duke blue in your honor today. <laughs> and so I well, would like thank to... Thank you. You're thank welcome, you. sir. You're welcome. Because it was such a great night. I was cheering you on from the bedroom. But this is the thing. There were so many heart-stopping moments during that game. And I heard you after the game say at one You're point, right. we were dead in the water. What did you do? What did you think to turn it around with those freshmen on the team? Well, you know, I have, a, I have the most together group I've ever had. Uh, they love one another. Uh, they're brothers. It was that way from day one. They've come back before. Uh, you know, and you know, we, we, had, we coined the phrase a couple of months ago that eight is enough. We only have eight scholarship players. Four of them are freshmen, and uh, uh, we have confidence in all of them. And Grace and Allen came through for us, but also on the defensive end, Emile Jefferson and Matt Jones. They combined for two points in 42 minutes or 43 minutes, and, uh, but their defense on Decker and Kaminsky in that second half was, uh, was huge for us to get back because they gave us stops. And the lead kept changing. I mean, it went ready, set, go, and it was full throttle the whole <laughs> game. Really, I thought it was so nerve-wracking watching that game last night. <laughs> Well, you know, I was nerve-wracking coaching, but uh, you know that's what, you know, that's what makes that's what makes great games is yes. the, the nerve-wracking. The, Wisconsin is a heck of a team. Yeah, yeah they really. Their are. coach is a, is a great guy, and you know, really, we felt that they were the best team in the country coming in, and and so we to win this, we felt we we beat. Uh, a great basketball team and a great program for an, ama an amazing state. You thought they were better than Kentucky coming in? Well, I thought they were more experienced, Charlie, and they, you know, they had, uh, they probably won over 70 games together these two years and Let lost it. just a handful. And uh, they were old together. No, go ahead. Have and, and Kaminsky and Decker, two, uh, two guys who would be in the first round. Uh, of the NBA draft. So they're, they're talented and they've played together for two straight years, which is uncommon at, uh, in a college game. Coach, it was interesting to learn and tally up the, the numbers afterward to learn that every point scored in the second half yeah. was by one of your freshman <laughs> players. Yeah. 
Well, it's amazing. Uh, I have uh, four great uh, freshmen, uh, but they, you know, they're led by uh, a great senior in Quinn Cook. Quinn set the table for these kids and uh, where they always felt comfortable, they always felt like they had a big brother there for them. And our, our MVP for this team is, uh, is Quinn Cook. Thank you, yeah. Coach K. The, the shot of you kissing Quinn Cook was one of the sweetest things I've ever yeah. seen. Congratulations and bravo, bravo, bravo. Duke! Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you very much. There is new I appreciate it. We appreciate it, too.